Let's see what we're working with. Ooh, a lot going on today. All right, I'll be back in 20 minutes. <laughs> Hi Vogue, I'm Tony Garn and today I will show you how to do a fresh faced makeup look. This is kind of my favorite makeup look that I love to do every day when I have to be presentable, when I have meetings. So I'm going to start with a concealer for under the eyes. I don't like to use a lot of creams, a lot of foundations. I like to just cover up what needs to be covered up. Then I use a different kind of concealer for all the other blemishes. I always like to highlight the nose and then I always like to also cover up the lips a little bit because I do tend to have cracked lips easily and whatever I'm going to add on top I think nude is a nice base to work with on the lip. I'm not somebody who likes to travel with a lot of makeup in my bag. I don't really have a makeup kit with me. So I think it's really important that you find a concealer that you like and trust and that stays on all day. It'll really pay back with confidence, with saving time, with everything. Then as many of you might know already, I'm complete obsessed with mascara. I love lashes. Long lashes, thick lashes. I'm just gonna do on the top. It changes the look for blondies like me, I think. A bit more open, a bit more light. Normally I make a huge mess when I do this. I'm very positively surprised by myself right now. I think this is semi-presentable. <laughs> so I've slowly started getting into eyebrows. I've just copied what makeup artists do with me, which is normally just to fill them in a little bit with my natural color. As I've gotten older, I've looked more at myself and I figured actually you do have eyebrows, Tony. You need to fix your eyebrows even though you're blonde. My eyebrows are not even. One ends here, one ends way further out. So I need to fix that and then to brush them out. The next step that's important for me is a little bit of contouring, which often looks a little bit like a mud color. Somehow it turns out to be my color. It looks like this. Try and get it right in here to really get those cheekbones out. I like a creamy texture. I don't like this as a powder because I think it moves too much. I think it's important that it really sits in the cheek. And again, this is something that I definitely like to check on one or two mirrors because it can be too dark very quickly. Some makeup artists sometimes tell me because I have all these blonde baby hairs everywhere, they told me to just, you know, dare to put the contouring up here as well. Really finish it out on the cheeks. I'm not huge on blush because you can say a strange joke or embarrass me or surprise me or just go like this and I will have blush naturally so I don't use blush. And then one last thing that I really love is highlighter. I think a highlighter just on top of what I just did under the eyebrows. So I like to use something that's a little creamy again. Nothing too obvious. I really love going under the eyebrow. Try and find something that's shiny not glittery. I am not a fan of glitter at all. I hope I'm never gonna actually use glitter in 10 years and then you're gonna use this footage against me, but I don't like glitter unless it's Halloween. I think I just have too many memories of people backstage taping it off of me and trying to get it off of me. It can be really painful. Just a hint, I always get the back of the nose, top of the lip, kind of the T-zone. One last thing, I love lip balm. I'm not a huge fan of lipstick because I chew lots of gum and I talk all day long and sometimes I kiss all day long. And that's it. This is how I do my everyday fresh faced makeup look. Hi Vogue, I'm Tony Garn. To watch more videos, subscribe here.